Hello everyone, so uh, thank you for coming to the video, uh, also thank you to everybody um, who's taken part in the competition, uh, I'm overwhelmed by the amount of people sending in uh, uh, their ideas, absolutely awesome, thank you so much guys. Uh, just remember guys, if you're entering the competition for the Design Your Own Lightsaber, uh, you do need to uh, send in the contract, but you need to fill out the contract as well. So all the blank areas you need to fill out and you do need to actually physically sign the contract for it to be valid. Uh, it is a contract. It does need a signature, unfortunately. Now, um, the reason for this video uh, is uh, because I've had a number of messages from people saying, oh, we really want to have um, a lightsaber video where it shows us xenopixel or neopixel and that sort of thing so uh, i will reciprocate and i'll do that for you now guys so i'll grab just gonna put the camera down when i can no that'll be fine i'll grab my lightsaber uh so obviously this is the star killer from the new range yeah, which should be out in the next couple of months um so just to run things down the blade is what is referred to as a NeoPixel blade. So what that means is inside the blade, there are 288 LEDs running all the way to the top and then all the way back down. They're on both, there's a, there's a strip going all the way up the blade and on both sides of the strip, uh, there's um, the 288 LEDs in total. They fit onto a pogo pin, which is about here. And that pogo pin transmits or transfers the data of what's happening from the soundboard over to the uh, the blade. Now let's have a look at the soundboard. So cool to be able to do that. So this is the chassis, and you can see here this is a soundboard, and this soundboard is a Xenopixel soundboard. Uh, so it controls and programs everything. If you were to add or remove sounds, uh, sound fonts to this uh, board, uh, you would remove the SD card. This is only for now. In the fu near future, we do believe uh, you'll be able to do everything from your app on your phone, along with having like up to a hundred different blade effects. But um, you would remove the SD card, put that on the computer and then uh, add your new sound font or remove whatever sound font you want Excuse just to note a message for you. every time just to note if you are going to be removing the sound sd card you must always do a full backup of that sd card uh, so that you if anything goes wrong you've always got um a master there for it so uh, i just need to line that up so i can see what i'm doing okay so that's lined up in and lock in place and it's back in awesome uh so yeah something to seriously take into consider uh, to remember no problem accessing sd card uh if your computer prompts up saying format cancel do not format the sd card if you haven't backed up everything on the sd card and you format it everything has gone i can't send you all the files again i because the files for some reason on gmail uh it wants to send only the doc uh, only the things inside a file so i'd have to send you like 50 on uh, 50 uh, so, uh 50 files and that'll be one folder another 50 files that'll be two folders. you're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of files i would have to send you on gmail it would take hours to send over i just can't do that so please make sure you've backed everything up uh so what we're going to do now is i'm going to demo all the different sound fonts on here for you so i'm just going to pop you up and down here for a moment get it nice and center i will be using the app so let me just turn the light off so you can see the phone app itself. Okay, so we're going to connect to Sabre. Yep. App connected. There we go. Uh, yep, actually I will move this to the side. Okay, right, so uh, I'm just going to turn the volume down ever so slightly. Volume level 64%. 
Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, right, so font select number one. The chosen. So that's the chosen. New horizon. I am going to go through these quite quickly. Font select again. The dark sword. And, and what you'll see is each font has its own blade color, its own startup. Uh, so each one does a different thing. They're the not all. Assassin. They're not all the same. Some have really cool blade effects. This is my favorite. This, the assassin. Well, I do like that, that's a fire blade. Wanderer. A nice purpley colour there, I like that. The protector. That's kind of like a standard Luke Skywalker type of sound font. It's not bad. Not bad. Let me just move you a bit more. That's not bad actually. That's better than I remember. I'm just going to move this over so. Right. Uh, let's have a look at the next font. The sun. Okay. Beefy. Fallen Apprentice Magenta. That's a really nice purple blade, that. That is really good. The Princess. Oops, missed. If you like, like a nice glowy effect to the blade. Mm. Truly lost. That's cool. That was a really cool font. I must admit, that was quite Wraith. good. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Oh, these are quite good. Mm, that's not bad. Redeemed. Mm. Bounty. Oh, there's a bit of shimmer to that blade. That's quite good. Codex of Light. Um, yeah, that's not bad. I quite like it. Cyber Terror. <laughs> Okay, that was weird. Dark Ages. Oh, that's just meant to be like a medieval sword. Like with metal and stuff. Hatred. 
Oh, beastie. That was a bit vicious, wasn't it? Idle. Okay. That was weird. Serenity. The champion. No, that's, yeah, that's fair, I suppose. The Dark Lord revisited. Mm, got a bit of meat on that one. The Learner. Me. Mm. That's good. That's a good one, guys. And the final one, font 34. Moonfield. Oh, God, it's Moonfield. Oh, my God. Let, let me go back and show you the Moonfield again. That one is as silly as oh. Right, this is Moonfield. <laughs> It just really slowly has a rainbow bay flying up. Yeah. So, that was the uh, the font. So I hope you liked uh, the video, guys. Um, let me just bob the light back on now we've done that. So, you no longer need to see the app. Um, I'll just show you the app quickly. So, you've got all the things on here. You change your font, you can adjust the, the volume. Volume level 45%. There. Volume level 20%. Volume level 100%. Uh, and then the other thing is, when you go to the font select, you have a little option just there, which you can press, and you can change a lot of other different things as well. <clears throat> so it's quite good. Uh, you got the blade lighting effect. Um... And you can change these, you can go to different ones. There's lots of different options. It's I'm not gonna go through these. I think you know when you get your Xenopixel, when you get your app, uh the uh, app is downloadable from the uh Neopixel page. So it's right at the very top of the page uh when you go into my website for Neopixel Sabres and it says um Xenopixel V3, click here to download. So you just click on the app from your mobile phone, it'll then take you to a thing. Uh, which you can download it. I won't go through all these uh, different things on the on the app. Um, one thing I will say is uh, this is the here is the main option for the blade and that sort of thing. You have this option as well, so you can adjust all these different settings as well. You also have uh, this here, and these are things to come. So. There's going to be a lot of more updates to this uh, this board. Um, let's see. And the, the other good thing is... Um, where is it now? Um, you also have... On the second option of the app... At the top, you have that. And you can actually control even more and do e really fine-tune it. So, with the new range I'm doing there's only one button and the one button is at the base of the hill and that's to basically turn it on you then can either use gesture controls to turn it on turn it off or you can use your app so we're at a point now where uh, you don't really need a button on your lightsaber anymore uh, when the boards uh, up to about a year or two years ago when the lightsaber board was um, quite literally a button to turn on and a button to go through the features yeah you needed a button but you don't need a button anymore it's it's no longer needed now i completely accept some people prefer having physical buttons 
Uh, but if you can turn your lightsaber on just by twisting it, why, why do you need a button for that? And bear in mind, these aren't really dueling lightsabers. Uh, it'd be great to duel with them, but would you want to spend a lot of money on one of these um, and then find out, you know, and then go dueling with it and it breaks? No. Uh, it's like a lot of people won't duel with NeoPixel lightsabers because with the blade having around 288 LEDs inside, you don't you run the risk of 288 problems occurring from smashing these around. That's why you would use an RGB lightsaber. So at the end of the day, RGB lightsabers, basic lightsabers are the ones that you want if you are going to go out there and smash these things around and going to duel. If you want something that looks absolutely awesome, is so much fun and is great on display, you'd go for Neo Pixel Blade. You wouldn't go. You would actually go for. Uh, you would actually go for Neo Pixel. Uh, you, you'd um, you'd use your Pixel for having something amazing and something to look at and display. You wouldn't use it for dueling. Uh, and just the same as these, uh, they're not really meant for dueling at all. They're designed to look absolutely awesome. The fact the chassis comes all the way out is just a huge benefit. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, look at, because uh, I have now decided on a price for the Starkiller. The Starkiller will be the more expensive out of the new range, uh, just because it's a way more complex lightsaber and a lot of work to build a star killer uh, however um, uh, it doesn't mean the ovens will be as much the ovens will be cheaper <clears throat> I have a, a couple of designs already for the new range uh, which I'm working on and look really good one looks awesome um, so what I was going to say to you guys is I'm going to uh, I might do a competition that whoever can get whoever uh whoever gets the price closest to what it will be selling for uh at recommended retail price uh they would they could win a saber or something or win something uh, from us so but i will do a future post on that aspect later so uh, i hope you like the video guys thank you so much for coming i'll see you all in another video soon